all, this is Halloween, and today we're going to be recreating my favorite Scooby-Doo character, Velma. Let's get started. Here she is, Velma. Possibly the easiest costume you can do. Also very comfortable. Again, this is a simple costume. I have an orange sweater. I actually bought all of this a la carte instead of buying the packaged costume. If you want to buy the packaged costumes, I will recommend a couple that I think that are pretty good, but you really never know if you're buying a costume online that are one of the packaged costumes, if it's going to be good quality or not. And some of these are 35, 40. I mean, they range in price. I got the red pleated skirt, orange socks, uh, I'm going to wear these shoes, these Doc Martens. I'll tell you about the crazy time I had today trying to find a very simple shoe. I just gave up. And so I'm going to be wearing these Doc Martin Mary Janes I've had for forever. And then this wig here, which I'm actually going to trim. So it's pretty short. So it'll look more like Velma. And that's the whole costume. I've got the, the glasses. I actually bought these. They have blue lenses. You probably can't see but I got these from Shoe Carnival, and they're originally $29.99, and I got them for half price. And they're cute enough to keep and wear regularly. So that's it. That's the whole costume. Let's get started with our makeup. Time to do our makeup. This is so easy. The makeup, she, Velma, was really homely. She didn't wear a lot of makeup. She didn't wear any makeup, as a matter of fact. So if you're looking for something simple, really the whole cast of Scooby-Doo is pretty simple. It'd be a great group costume to do with a group of friends. I know for a fact that they have all of the characters in a store-bought costume. Of course, Shaggy would be easy to just throw together from the thrift store. You can just buy it or make it or whatever. So I'm doing this one actually today kind of impromptu because I have a bigger project that I'm working on for next week. So make sure you're tuned in next week. I'll give you a little hint. It's from a classic film very popular <laughs> that's your hint see if you can guess by next week but yeah it wasn't ready yet and i got and i was also called on to do a cake for a salon's one year anniversary so factoring that in and trying to finish the other costume which i don't have much left to do but it's enough that i can't do the cake and that costume and finish that costume and do the video and edit everything so I'm throwing Velma in. She was actually pinned to do maybe a couple weeks out from now, but not quite yet. But that's how easy it is. You can just throw her in. You can put this costume together very simply. I bought my items separately on Amazon, but they make decent Velma costumes. They range in price from $25 up to about $40. Um, there's one that comes with all the accessories, which is kind of cool. So you don't have to make it or buy things separately. You can just get the costume. There are a couple that I didn't like at all. They just looked really cheap and I'll put these up here for you so that you can see which ones not to buy. <laughs> but the rest of them looked all right. I'm not gonna lie. But how can you go wrong? I mean, it's a pretty simple costume. So my foundation is done. Kat Von D foundation, because it's nice and fair and it's kind of pasty, so it looks a little costumey. Other things I'll be using are my Ben Nye brown pencil, my liquid black liner, some mascara for good measure. That's pretty much it. So let's do our eyebrows. I'm just gonna do my natural brow. I think it'll be fine. Nothing, nothing special about that. I'm also gonna do a few freckles. Brows done, freckle time. Actually, let's do some mascara real quick. Just want mascara. She does not wear any makeup, so very homely. But at the same time, she's kinda hot, right? She's got that kinda nerdy girl thing going on. And she's real smart, which is always, you know, a good quality. I feel like because of Scooby-Doo, like the way that it is too, it's a great idea for Halloween because they're always like ghost hunting and all of that. It's kind of their thing. So you can like run around with your friends and act like you're catching all the ghosts or the people that are dressed up as dead people and like you're investigating them. 
can be kind of funny. Yeah, my shoe, uh, the shoes just did not work out. Now they do sell some shoes on Amazon. I'll put them here for you. Uh, the ones that I think would go well with this costume. She doesn't wear a really high heel. Remember, she's, she's kind of nerdy and homely and doesn't have a lot going on. So you wanna get a low heeled Mary Jane. That's what she wears. So any one of these will do. This was last minute, so I did not have time to order them off of Amazon. So I'm wearing these Doc Martin Mary Janes, which is fine too. I mean, if that's what you have at your place, if you have some Doc Martin Mary Janes or something that will work, believe me, she's not famous for her shoes. It's the whole ensemble. It's the orange sweater and the pleated skirt and the glasses and the socks. That's, that's what they're gonna know of her. So any sort of Mary Jane style shoe should work as long as it's not some other color like blue or yellow or, you know, you want it to be kind of red. That's it. That's the only requirement. So it turns out I had a couple of items. I had the wig and I had the shoes. So, but I went to like 14 different stores and I'm not even exaggerating today. Spent my whole day looking for shoes. What I thought would be a practical, easy find was it mission impossible because for some reason, and I don't know why, because it's fall and red is a very fall color. So I don't know why there's not red shoes, more red dressy types of shoes out there, but there aren't. I'm telling you right now, I went to Target, Famous Footwear, Shoe Carnival, Marshalls, TJ Maxx. They didn't even have a red shoe, period. Unless it was a sneaker, insane. Couldn't believe it. So needless to say, I ended my search because it was just, <sighs> you wouldn't believe it. Usually I can find what I'm looking for, like exactly what I'm looking for and sometimes even better than what I had in mind. I just, it's like, I think of it, I send it out into the universe and then I go to Goodwill and it's like the first thing I pick up is the perfect shoe and they happen to be my size. I cannot tell you how often that happens, but today was not the day. The universe was working against me and probably laughing at me also. Wanna do some freckles? If you're gonna do freckles, I usually would recommend like a, um, a liquid liner. They have the Maybelline waterproof liquid liner in brown. You can do freckles with that. They just show up a little bit better. I don't have that right now, so. I used to have one because I used to darken my mole, my mole up here. Just some freckles, not too many. They're sort of evenly placed. Now, one thing I forgot to do is go over my lips with my foundation because there is no color to her lips. You don't have to do it this way, but I see it how I see it. So I'm just gonna foundation over my lips. And if you do do it this way, you might wanna carry a concealer around with you so apply it like lipstick. You know, if you go out to eat or something, or if you're drinking, you'll be able to touch up your makeup. I was gonna do like a nude lip. It's not even nude. It's just, it's the same color as the rest of her skin. So we're doing it this way. <laughs> I got some powder. I'm gonna go ahead and powder to kind of seal it on. And then <laughs> it's just the nostrils. So I might just do, and this might not even make much of a difference, but I'm just gonna going around my nostril, huh? There's the nose. And then for the mouth, she's got a line under her bottom lip, just, I guess, to show that there's a lip there. And then she has like smile lines, not smile lines, but like. Again, she's animated, so you want her to kind of look animated. That's it, she's done. All right, let's see what this looks like. What do you think? All dressed up and ready for photos.
so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved today's look. It's cute, it's sexy, it's comfortable, and it's definitely recognizable. Everybody will know that you are Velma with the right components. If you haven't already, please remember to like, subscribe, and share. And that does it for today's episode. I'll see you next time.